Hi guys, welcome, it's May already and the sun is coming down, it must be spring. I hope you had a cracking April. Did you eat lots of Easter eggs? How many did you eat? Ten! I only got one and that lasted all of April. So anyway, today we are going to make sure that we've got our tennis racket. Now remember, if you don't have your tennis racket, you can go and make one out of our cardboard. And have we got our tennis ball? A pair of socks. It's got dust on already. A pair of socks. Yes, we can use a pair of tennis. Um, a pair of socks for our tennis ball, or we can have our proper tennis ball. Or over here, where's my finger? Can you see that's behind me? That's our magic ball for later. And I made that out of tin foil. So there's lots of things we can make. Oh, and I almost forgot. Have you got your practice at home book? Can you remember what our character is? Who's that? It's Georgia the... And who we got here? Vinny. We did Vinny last, last month, didn't we? Well, today we're going to be doing Fable the Ferret. So you ready? Shall we get practicing? So guys, you got your racket, you can practice our tennis shots, so we can either use our magic ball, so get your racket, just a little bit of practicing. Uh, what did we do last month? Oh yeah, that's right, we did Philly, didn't we? Bottom of my volley. Oh, look, I must have been practicing. How good is this? Practicing, oh, moving as well. Huh. Oh, what other shots have we got? Oh, uh, oh, forehand. Good shot. Now remember, if your parents are holding the magic ball, you can hold it at different heights. Or if they're using a balloon, again, they can either drop it or you can hit a forehand. Just make, better make sure it doesn't go over the fence this time. Um, or remember, if we've been practicing lots and lots, we might even get to mummies and daddies throwing the ball and hitting a shot and getting really good we can drop and then hit our shot I'll go and get my ball you keep practicing oh found my tennis ball again wasn't in the hedges. So I put that ball down there. I'm going to practice. Uh, I might get my other tennis racket. <laughs> Have a little practice with that. I might even use a sock. Oh, oh. Let's have a go at the serve. Here we go. Wow, what a serve. How's your practicing coming along? Is your practicing going really well? <gasps> Jessica, that is a fantastic shot. Well done. What about you? Christopher, brilliant volleys last month. That was fantastic. You're doing really, really well. Who else have we got? Can't quite hear your name. Billy, all right, well done, Billy. Doing really well. Right, let's keep practicing then. Another minute. Right, what should we do? Oh, I might have a go at my backhand. Oh, what a shot. Mummies and daddies are holding that magic ball nice and still. Oh, another great backhand. Now, what shot haven't I done? Oh, I remember I've done the serve. Oh, oh what about what about forehand? Wow, what a shot. Now, what else do I remember? Ah, oh, yes, what's this one? What was it? Can't hear you. That's it. Ready, Freddy. Fantastic. All right. Ooh. Right, let's go and put all the bits down. Fantastic start. Right, are we ready for our proper lesson now? Sorry, are you ready? Can't quite hear you. Maybe have a quick drink. Ah, that's better. All right, so... Today we're going to be a pirate. Arr! 
Have you ever been a pirate? We're going to go sailing across the world and we're going to go and find something we're going to shoot. But we need to find our cannonballs. There's my cannonball. We're going to place all the cannonballs all over the floor. So I've got loads and loads of cannonballs. A pair of socks, that's one cannonball. Okay, pirates, are you ready? I want you to find my cannonballs. Can you find them for me? you got to say, Arr! Come on, pirates, I can't hear you. Arr! That's fantastic. Okay, let's go. Let's go and pick all those balls. we got to pick up a ball and then put it on a cone. Let's find another one. Come on, pirates, find those cannonballs. Put it on another cone. My sock. Put it on another cone. Oh, I can't find them. Come on, pirates, find those cannonballs on the cone. Well done, keeping your head going. Pick up that ball. Put another ball. Oh, I found another one. Good. Any more? Oh, I found another one. Found another one. Whew. Great job, pirates. Great job. Okay, now, if you're pretty good at this, what your mummies and daddies can do is all these balls, they could roll them along the floor and you've got to pick it up and place on a cone. Let's roll it out. Oh, let's pick it up and put on the cones. Let's roll it out and pick up a ball. Put it on there and let's roll it out. Oh, catch it. Oh, no, almost into the tennis chair. Into the chair. Oh, that's great warming up, everybody. Well done, pirates. Okay, let's pick up. Okay, these ones. Oh, my tennis ball. Now, a really good one might be to get ah, all the balls and get your mums and daddies to throw the balls up high in the air. Here we go. Ah, quick, let's go find all those balls. All oh, these tennis balls have gone a long way. I wonder if I can find those balls or cannonballs. Oh, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Found the socks. Well done. I've lost one of the tennis. Where's those cannonballs? I've lost one. I'll be back in a minute, see if you can find them all. I'm not being a very good pirate. I've lost one of my tennis balls. Can anybody see where it went? Hope you haven't lost your tennis ball. I found it, yes. Oh. 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 Wow. Great job. You did a sterling job there. All righty then. Great warm up. So, what were we trying to do? Let's all sit down. And get our breath back. That's it. Mm. So our plan was to try and find all those cannonballs. And we needed to run really fast like Chelsea the cheetah. That's right. And Chelsea's really, really quick. They're running all over. Now, did anybody notice what I was doing in between? 
Sometimes I was doing a split step. Now, do you remember we did that last month, split step? Can you remember the character? That's right, it was Holly the Hare, who does a hop, almost like a hopscotch. One foot and then jump. Get you ready. Like, ready, Freddy. Brilliant. All right, let's have a drink. <clears throat> Let me get my tennis racket. All right, so let's see. Who have we got in today? Can you shout out your names? I can't quite hear. Billy, well done, Billy. You're back again. Billy back. Fantastic. So, Billy, well done for this week. And who else have we got? Shout your names. Oh, yeah, Jessica. Hello, Jessica. And hello. Oh, it's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Good. Do really, really well. Have you been practicing as well? Good. Say hello, Jessica. And who else we got? Ruth. Hello, Ruth. And oh, quite, quite. Shout a little bit louder. Thomas. Hi, Thomas. All right then, so welcome everybody. I've got my tennis racket. Now, can you remember what this part of the racket is called? Little clue. What is it? That's right, it's the face of the racket. Good job. All right, what about the, this part of the racket? Good, it's known as the butt of the racket. Good job. All right, what about this bit? I'll give you a clue. It's That's right, it's called the throat. Good job. And what about this whole part? It's where we, obviously, our hand goes. Can you tell me? I can't quite hear you. No, can't hear you. No, a little bit louder. Oh, that's right, it's the grip. Fantastic, or the handle. So grip or handle. All right, great job today. So we've done our racket. Right, let's put our racket face on our ear. Um, let's make, can we make a hat? Arr, my hat, my pirate's hat, Arr, and we're gonna need my pirate's hat today. And um, we're gonna need oh, uh, we're gonna need a grip. Let's put our grip on our knee and on our toes and on our elbows. And what about our throat of the racket on our shoulder? And what what about a hand on my nose? Ah, good job. Well done. That's fantastic. All right, so who's ready to do some more tennis shots? Are we ready? So I need to introduce to you, which you may or may not have done before. Let's have a look on the back of our thing. So we did Vinny last month. So today we're going to be doing Fable the Ferret. And we need to practice our tennis shot. And can you remember how we do that? Should we have a listen? Come on then, let's have a listen to what Fable does. Drop the anchor, fire the cannon, there she blows big nose. Let's do that with the racket then. So we're going to practice. We need to drop the anchor. Fire the cannon. There she goes. Big nose. Watch again. I'll do it a little bit further back. Drop the anchor. Fire the cannon. There she goes. Big nose. Ready again. We'll do it sideways. So we're going to drop the anchor. 
by the cannon. There she goes, big nose. So mummies and daddies, remember phase one is holding the magic ball. So remember, you need to be like a scarecrow with your legs apart. When, when you're holding. So when they swing, they're not gonna hit you around the head, which is always good. Are you practicing? Good practice. Now, stage two would be to use a balloon. So the balloon would be dropped and then they hit the forehead, finishing with a big nose. Phase three would be you throwing the balloon towards your child. So the balloon comes, let me get rid of the magic ball. It's tricky feeding yourself. Here we go, are you practicing? So the balloon would go standing here. The balloon goes here, watch the balloon, finishing with a big nose. And the final stage with the balloon would be for it to be thrown, dropped, and then you try and hit it over the net. And then another stage would be to throw over the net. <laughs> so it comes over the net, and then they try and hit it back. And you can even get a rally going. Again, I'm going to use two rackets. Forehand, big nose. Four, yeah, forehand. I wonder if I can do it over the net. Here we go. Forehand over the net. Forehand back of the net. Oh, it's in the net. So we can either use a balloon. So that would probably be week two. And then the next phase is. Could be with a tennis ball. So the tennis ball would be dropped. You'd throw it about and finish with a big nose. Remember, here we go. Drop the anchor. Fire the cannon. There she goes. Big nose. So we could be drop feeding. Finishing with a big nose. Then the ball could be thrown. Coming towards the child. Bouncing in front, they tried to hit it. Then the challenge might be bouncing and hit over the net. And then the final stage would be for the ball to go over the net, bounce, and then hit over the net. And then you can make it even harder by having. One of you, your mummies and daddies hitting the ball over the net and then you hitting it back to them. But remember, do the phase that helps your child. So if they start off with the magic ball, then you bring in the balloon, then you use the tennis ball. And the tennis ball is a drop feed, throwing the ball towards you, throwing the ball over the net. So those all are different different phases. So that was fantastic. You did a lot of good practice in there hitting that forehand. So do you remember the phrase? Yeah. Do it quite low hand, can you hear me? That's right, drop the anchor. Fire the cannon. There she goes. Big nose. Here we go again without my legs. By the cannon, big nose. Ready, Freddy, turn the shoulder. Big nose. And we can be sidestepping. I'm going to bring my magic ball in again. Here we go. Make sure I don't trip over anything. Running forward. Big nose, what a shot. Here we go. And split step. Moving towards the ball, finish with a big nose. Oh, I'm going to move again. Oh, watching the ball. There it comes. Big nose, getting good at this. 
big nose. Oh, it's coming from a different angle. Oh, let's stop it. Fire the cannon. There she goes, big nose. We're really ensuring, making sure that we finish that big nose. Wow. What a cracking job that was. Oh, who needs a bit of water? I think I do as well. Here we go. Water. All right. So while you're having a drink of water, I'm going to set up for the next activity. So you keep drinking and watch what I'm going to do. To get rid of all the tennis balls. And I'm going to leave one blue cone, one green cone, one red cone, and one yellow cone. And get rid of all those other cones I used for my warm up. And for this activity, you're going to need. Or tennis balls. So get my four tennis balls and put those so they're ready in the middle. All right, are you ready to board my ship? Are you are? All right, so the game is with Holly. Kelsey and Fable, we're off to Spain. Spain? That's right, we're going on a ship. We're going to sail away and we're heading for the great Spanish city. Do you know what? The Spanish have got a secret. Shh. It's written here in my map. On my map. Spain, there's a secret. Do you want to know what the secret is, my pirates? You do? Well, oh, shh. You can't tell anybody. The Spanish. They call it the Spanish X. Don't tell anybody. X. The Spanish X. And they say, Vamos! Can you say vamos? Ready? Vamos! Means come on! So the Spanish X. Can you make that signal? X. I can do it with my racket as well. Ready? X. Make sure I don't hit, hit anybody with a racket. Spanish X. Vamos! That brilliant. That is superb. All right. So our game. This is how it works. There are four cones. So we've got our cone here. And we've got one cone here. One cone here. And one cone here. And we have to go in the shape of an X. So we're going to start at the green cone, which is back here. And I'm going to go diagonal to the yellow cone. I would then hit a forehand. I'm then going to go back towards the blue cone, and then again, I'm going to hit a forehand. Which one do you think we're going to go to next? That's right, we're going to go diagonal to the red cone. Got to have really good footwork for this one. And again, hit a forehand. There was one shot that we didn't do, the one at the back. So we're going to sidestep backwards to then hit another forehand. Should we practice that one again? Remember, vamos! When we've finished all four shots. So remember, starting here, diagonal to the yellow cone. Great shot! Move to the blue cone. Hit a full hand, good. Gotta go over to that one now. Side step across. Big nose! Side step to the next one. Vamos! We should try it again. We're going to do it without the ball. But we're going to hit every shot. Right, start from here. 
Yellow cone first. There we go. One. To the blue cone. Two. Diagonally across. Three. Green cone. Four. Woo. I've got some tennis balls in here. Second stage would be to put the tennis balls on the cone. All right, are we ready? Now we're going to do it with actually hitting the forehand and we're going to hit the tennis balls off the cones. Here we go then. Yellow cone first, here we go. Hit the first shot, took us with a big nose. Let me get rid of my magic ball because it's in the way. And what was the next one? Got to go backwards to the blue cone. Hit the forehand. Diagonal to the red cone, got to get my feet, hit the ball off the cone, and then the last one, green cone. Bubbles! Right, let's put those balls back on the cone. So if we're on to the next stage, we can do it with... A balloon but the parents you have to move with them so the balloon would go you can throw the balloon I think there's a pigeon that wants to join us for this game oh, pigeons so the parents would need to throw the balloon drop the balloon here they hit a forehand that's the yellow cone then they go backwards towards the blue cone you drop it Hit the forehand. Then it's over to the red cone, so the parents are going to have to move quickly. Again, big nose. And then the last one back to the green cone. Drop that balloon and finish with a big nose. So that's doing it with the balloon. So remember, Chelsea's really fast. I don't think I've been doing it fast enough, do you? No. All right. So parents, to make it harder, the next stage would be for the ball to be dropped. And then you hit O forehand. Remember, diagonal and so on. So you can drop, feed it. Or what would be even harder is if I was to stand here, you throw the ball to each corner. So that's a tennis ball. So the first one would be throwing it towards the yellow cone. They hit a forehand. Then you throw the ball to the blue cone. They then hit a forehand. You then throw the tennis ball. Remember, you're not going to be in the same spot to the red cone. They then hit a forehand and the final shot, back to the back screen. Really should have been nose every time. Well done, players. So remember, every time we're looking to be fast like Cheetah. Be like Fable the Ferret. Fire those cones and big nose. And then we, this game. This is what all the top professional Spanish players do. That's why it's a secret. That's why they're so good. The Spanish X. So the players like Andy Murray, Serena Williams, they all did this skill when they were young, younger and they used to do it and they got better and better and better. So this is called the S Spanish X. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do it a little bit quicker. So I'm just going to do it one time with the cones. All right, here we go. Try not to injure myself now. I'm going to knock them off the cone, hitting a proper forehand. Let's see how quickly I can do it without tripping up. Are we ready? Starting in the middle. And let's go. Forehand. Backhand. Forehand. Oh no, slips. Forehand. Excellent. 
That was really quick. And I put a slip in there as well. Rub my knee. Oh. So you're gonna, I've got a bank on my grass. Hopefully you've got a flat area, then you won't slip. So just be careful. Oh. Right, I think it's time to have another drink. Oh. And then we'll have a go at doing our scoring game. So how did you get on with that? Ah, good job, everybody. What's that? You did really well. You had lots of good movement. Fantastic. So, lots of good movement. We got our forehand with Fable the Ferret. Spanish X. Superb job. And I think... We're ready for our game now, aren't we? Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Who wants to score some points? No, still can't hear you. Whoa! Wow, that was really loud. Oh, so do you remember our points from last, last time? So it's going to be the same game, but we're using a forehand. That's right. It's not going to be volleys this time. So... Should we get our tennis net ready? So here's my tennis net. Drops on the line. My target, which I'm going to put, let's have that here. My target. Wonder if I can hit the target. Good. And. I need, what else do I need? Oh, I need my ball. So remember, let's, can you remember the points? So let's go and score some points, shall we? So the points are one point if you hit the ball, 10 points if you get it over the net, 20 points if you get it into the court or hit the target. And 50 points if you get it into the bucket, or as you can see this week, my target is here. So if I get, these are the points, here we go. So magic ball, parents, you hold the ball, and then when they hit it, you let go. Oh, I hit it and it went over the net. I get how many points? That's right, I get 20 points for that one. Again with the magic ball. Oh, another 20 points. We're using a balloon. Remember, drop, hit the balloon. Another 20 points. Parents, you can throw the ball out, throw the ball or the balloon over the net. So that's another phase where we throw it over the net. I'm trying to do it. Here we go. The ball comes over the net. We then finish with a big nose. How many points? Oh, 20 that time. So again, parents, have a think about what your child or how big your child is. If they're slightly better, you can make it harder for them. So whether you're using the magic ball or the balloon, or eventually we'll move on to the tennis ball. We don't even have to have the net. So we could do it just the tennis ball dropping let's see remember ready ready drop finish with a big nose see if i can get it onto that target so i got 20 points that time oh i missed it that time that's fine so i don't get any points for that one here we go oh not quite Again, you can throw the ball if it goes. We can have our tennis net here. Ball goes over, bounces, and then hit it. So here we go. The balls come over the net, bounce. Oh, how many points? All right, I haven't got 50 points yet. Here we go. Oh, another 20 points. I'm doing well with those 20. So how many points are you getting? 
how many points did you get? Wow, Billy, that is amazing. You're on 100 points. Fantastic. Did you hit the target twice? Is that why you got 100? That is amazing. All right, Jessica, what, how many did you get? Sorry, how many did you get? 220. That is a massive score. That is brilliant. Don't forget, you can share your videos on our Facebook page. Get your parents to put those through and tell us how many points you're getting. We want to know how you're getting on with your tennis. I'm going to keep practicing. Come on then. So remember our progressions. Similar to Vinny last week, we can, the ball could be thrown over there if I run. And I finish with a big nose. Wow, I got another 20 points for that one. I could have the ball drop and then, oh, it's into the chair. Remember that, what are we looking for? That's it, that ready, Freddy. What should our racket be doing? Drop the anchor. Fire the cannon. There she goes. Big nose. Good remembering. And, re and if we're moving, that's right. We have to be really fast, don't we? So if the ball's over there, we've got to run. Fast and finish with a big nose. You're doing brilliantly well. All right. Um, here we go. I'm going to do a drop big. I wonder if I can get my feet. Oh, dear. I almost went over the fence. Let me go and get my mat ball. All right. Last shot. Should we have one more go? Come on then. 70 points. Can I get that? Oh, so close. But I didn't hit it. All righty then. Brilliant job, everybody. All right. So, toddlers, you were amazing today. Should we go and get our booklets and see what we were looking at today? Come on. Then. So, have you got your book? Good job. So, let's look on our passion so did you listen to your coach you did well done so if parents could tick one of these boxes if you managed to listen and follow those instructions really well done did you take your turns i think you did because you you might have been the only one playing all right movement we were looking at were we looking at rita the rat this week no we weren't looking at rita were we looking at Chelsea the Cheetah? That's right, we were. Chelsea and really, really fast and what we call speedy and agile or agility. So we were doing that one today. All right, let's have a look. Footwork. Um, we were doing Holly the Hare a little bit, weren't we? Now, what shot, do we, what shot were we hitting today? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What shot? No, it wasn't the serve. Let me look on my other page. <gasps> That's right, it was the forehand. Oh, where's my racket? So, we have elbow to the ball, low to high, contact point in front, rush the ball, big nose. So what that means is, when I turned, was my elbow pointing to where the magic ball was, or the balloon, or the ball? If it was, every time, we can tick that understand. Did I start with a racket low, and it went low to high? It was. Fantastic. And brushing the ball... I took it sideways. So low to high, brush the ball, and did we finish with that big nose? You did finish with a big nose. That is amazing. 
that's right so we've got to finish with that big nose every time so if you did really well I think most of you did a big nose so therefore you can tick that big nose and remember each week we're gonna see if we can repeat those all right so that is amazing most of the activities are going to be repeated but keep an eye on the different words because each week there'll be a slightly different challenge all right so week two might be to make sure you use the balloon instead of the magic ball all right but remember parents you can decide whether your child needs to stay with the magic ball or move on to the balloon or move to throwing the balloon over the net etc etc so make that judgment for your child but well done that is an amazing week this week and we'll see you again next week so enjoy may hopefully we'll have more of the sunshine and we can practice all these different skills but remember you can do the tennis shots indoors you don't have to be in a garden just make sure you maybe not use a tennis ball indoors maybe use um either the tinfoil ball or sponge ball or the balloon would be a lot easier the magic ball we can do indoors as well all right because we don't want to break any windows that would be bad all right well done everybody and see you again bye everybody